Whether you are a beginner who just wants to come into the tech industry or you are a seasoned professional who just wants to upgrade your tech skills, deciding which tech course is best for you can be really, really tiring. Especially when you hear people saying that all aspects of the tech industry is highly lucrative and they pay very well. Yes, it can be so, so tiring. This comprehensive video would help you navigate the decision-making process and would also help you choose the right tech course that you would be successful on. Now, before you actually start looking for a specific tech course or a number of courses that you may want to enroll on, it is essential to have a clear understanding of your personal career goals. Once you have identified your career goals, you can now be able to choose a tech skill that goes in line with your career goals. So the question is, how can you identify your career goals? Here are three questions that would help you identify these career goals. You first want to ask yourself, what specific role or job title would you be aiming for for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Who do you want to be known for? Do you have a flair for programming and you want to be known for someone who knows how to write codes? Or you actually want to be known for someone who can design stunning graphics? Probably you actually want to be known for someone who can actually edit videos professionally. Answering this question is very, very essential for you to identify what your career goals are. The next question you need to ask yourself is, are you looking at gaining this new skill because you want to change your career or you are aiming to enhance the current role that you are currently occupying? That question is also very, very important for you to be able to identify your career goals. The very next question you want to ask yourself is, do you have a long-term career plan and how will this skill I want to take help me achieve this career plan? Now, after answering these three questions, you will find out that the answers you get will actually help you identify what your career objectives are and it will also help you see if the tech course you are about taking aligns with your professional aspiration. So the very first thing before you actually choose or go into deciding whatever course you want to take is to ensure that you identify your career goals. The very next thing that you want to look out for before choosing a tech course is to ensure that you assess your current skill level. It is not possible for you to say you want to become a programmer when you don't know how to operate a computer. No! Having the basic computer knowledge is a key requirement if you actually want to go into most of these tech skills. To actually help you assess your current skill level, you may need to ask yourself these questions. 1. Are you a complete beginner with no prior knowledge to tech? Or do you understand some basic tech skills? The second question is, do you have some basic knowledge but want to delve deeper into a specific area of tech? Answer that question. And then the third question you should give attention to is, are you an experienced professional looking to specialize or update your skills? Giving answers to these questions will help you see if you can excel in the tech course that you are actually interested in, especially if you understand the basic requirements of that course that you want to enroll in. It is very, very important that you ask questions, finding out the basic requirements that is needed for you to actually enroll in this course. We have just talked about two things that you should do while choosing a tech skill for yourself. The very first we mentioned is identify your career goals. And secondly, you want to assess your current skill level. Are you getting value from this video? Go down there, hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already done so, and go to the comment section below and tell me that you are enjoying this video. Now, having established those two points, 
the very next thing that you should do that would actually help you choose this tech skill is exploring the different tech skills that we have especially the major ones yes the tech industry is very very vast and you may think you have a proper idea of what you want but exploring these other tech skills may actually open your eyes to some other areas of interest that you did not know you would actually be interested in you may be missing out on an interesting aspect if you just put your mind on one aspect alone feel free be open and explore all other aspects of tech as it were it is extremely important that you have a head knowledge in the major areas of tech this would help you align your choices with your area of interest now i'm going to list out some of the major aspects of tech that you may want to consider the very first aspect is web design now web design basically is the ability or the aspect of tech that focuses on the aesthetics and the user experience of a website it's basically you optimizing what a user sees on a website for example if you are a web designer it is your responsibility to ensure that this website that i'm showing you on your screen looks so beautiful and engaging yes that is web design for you now the second part of tech that we want to talk about is web development what is the difference between web design and web development now web development basically is you being that person who ensures all the back-end functionalities of the website are working very very well take for example it is a web programmer that actually programmed this feature that you can see right here on your screen can you see these animated circles that are popping up on the screen yes it is a programmer that have written down codes that ensures that this website performs this particular action how about some mind-blowing effects that you see on a website it is a web programmer that ensures that is done another example is if a client imagines having a website that can actually dictate 40 parts of a car it is your responsibility as a web programmer to program or write clean efficient codes that would actually bring that imagination to life there are so many many tools that web programmers work with we have programming languages like html css javascript php python ruby laravel and the rest of them so as a web programmer you know how to actually implement all these codes writing efficient codes that would bring to life what your client wants so simply put the web development talks about the functionalities aspect ensuring that the website does those things that your client wants while web design basically talks about what your client sees so if you are someone who is actually interested in being that person who wants to be responsible for how functionalities of a website works then your calling is what programming but if you are someone who just wants to be there to work on what your client sees then you can decide to go for website design the very next tech skill that i want to talk about is digital marketing now this aspect covers the ability to develop online marketing strategies that can be used to sell any product or service on the internet if you are a salesperson someone who is really 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 interested in promoting products and services naturally you should go for digital marketing now how about social media marketing this is also another aspect that involves promoting products and services on social media platforms like facebook instagram twitter linkedin and the rest of them and yet another tech skill that you can actually be interested in is what video editing now this aspect of text also involves creating and editing video content for various purposes it can be promotional videos it can be social media videos and the rest of them so it is very important that you research on each 
aspect of these tech skills that we have mentioned and so many others we didn't mention so you can see which one actually aligns with the goal that you have highlighted as we mentioned on the onset of this video we have just considered the first three things that would guide you into selecting the IT course that would be perfect for you as an individual. Do you remember those three points we mentioned? The very first one, try to identify your career goal. The second one, try to assess your current skill level. The third one, do everything possible to explore different tech skills so you can see where your core interest is and also see the skill that aligns with your career goal. At this point, after evaluating or exploring all these course options, you probably would have seen one that caught your interest. This now takes us to the very first thing you must do before choosing that course for yourself. That is you evaluating the course format and the duration of the course. You want to ask yourself, what is the time commitment of this course? Is it a physical one-on-one -on -one training? Is it an online training? Or is it a hybrid training where you take some of the courses online and you take some of the courses physical? Or is it a one-on-one -on -one tutor based online training? All of these factors are the things that you should consider before choosing a service provider for that course. After identifying the course program that actually fits your schedule and the learning style that you are comfortable with, the very next thing to check is the credentials of the trainer or the service provider. There are so many factors that you have to check about the person who is offering you this course. You have to check the instructor's expertise. You also have to check to see how the instructor give out these lectures. Is he certified in the so-called skill that you are about taking? It is also very important that you look out for courses that have certifications in them. This certification is something that will actually boost your portfolio after you have actually enrolled in these courses. And of course, it is important to take courses that have career support ask questions when i have finished these courses can i come back to you if i have challenges that i want to resolve all of these factors are factors that you must put into consideration while you are choosing that tech course that best fits you as an individual do you appreciate this mind-blowing information i'm giving you right here in this video do well to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so, like this video and share this video so many other persons can benefit from this mind-blowing information that we are providing right here for you. And yes, go down there to the comment section and say thank you for this valuable information. The very next step that you need to give thorough considerations to is to ensure that you see trial lessons or trial classes or samples of how these classes will hold. Yes, it is important that you take these trial classes because when you take these trial classes, it will now give you a glimpse of what this tutor has to offer. If he knows what he's doing, one, or if he does not know what he's doing. For example, if you are deciding to take a digital marketing course with VSL concepts, yes, we offer trial lessons as it were. Now, once you come over to this course here, Complete the Marketing course, and you hit the enter, you can actually start taking this course for free without making payment initially. You are going to find that under the curriculum section, you will see that the first three lessons there are free. These are core lessons, fundamental basics that makes you become a professional digital marketer. Now, after taking these courses, the value you get from them will now push you to want to enroll in the complete courses as it were. So it is very, very important that you ask for trial lessons or trial courses as it were. Do you appreciate this mind-blowing information I'm giving you right here in this video? 
do well to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so like this video and share this video so many other persons can benefit from this mind-blowing information that we are providing right here for you the very next thing that you actually need to look out for before picking a course is to see if that course offers support system we talked about career support a while ago but it is also extremely important that you see that they have a support platform that is extremely active for example this course on digital marketing offers a live zoom support system for you so if you are someone that actually you are not comfortable with taking courses online because you do not know if you get stuck and the rest of them the support platform of this course is something that would actually give you complete support as promised so ensure that you ask that question you would actually agree with me that choosing the right tech course is a significant investment in your future it is something that you have to carefully consider it is something that you have to carefully give thorough thoughts to now let's take a recap as to what and what you must do in order for you to actually choose the right tech course for yourself. Number one, you must first identify your career goals. Very, very important. What do you want to become in 10 years? What do you want to become in five years? What do you want to become in 15 years? It is important you highlight that. Now, after highlighting that, it is also very, very important that you understand your current skill level. What are those things that you are able to do at this point? Prioritize them. Now, if you see that the course that you actually want to go for requires a basic skill that you do not have, then you need to start with getting that basic skill first. The very next thing that you want to do is look out for all other courses that are in tech explore them read about them and see if any of them aligns with that your career goals that you have highlighted after doing that and you've picked out the niche ensure that you give thorough consideration to the course curriculums of these courses ensure you give thorough consideration to the duration of these courses Ensure you give thorough consideration to the credibility of the instructor or someone who is actually training you in that course. I hope you have gotten mind-blowing value from this short video that I have just made showing you how you can choose the right third course for yourself. If you got value, do well to hit the like button and ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also ensure that you visit vslconcept.com. There you'll find our physical training courses that you can take and also find our online courses that you can take that have mind-blowing support system. And also to build your confidence in VSL Concept, you can do well to go over to Google and search for VSL Concept. Yes you are going to see the google business page that has well over 892 reviews and we are maintaining a 4.9 rating over 5. you know that that is not a small job you know it is not easy to have about 800 reviews and you're maintaining 4.9 that is hard work so ensure you go over and see what so many other students are saying about vsl concept that will give you more reasons to see why you should choose VSL Concept as your service provider for that tech course or tech skill that you actually want to take. I hope you've gotten mind-blowing value from this video. If you have, go to the comment section and mention which tech course or tech skill you want and we'll talk about how you can get that tech skill immediately. I'll be waiting for your comment in the comment section below. Thanks and I'll see you in our next video.